Hello, everyone, and welcome to Foundational Hatha Yoga. My name is Alba Avella, and I'm so excited to be with you today. So this session, I will be taking you through a series of postures that you may already be familiar with, and this class is great for all levels and abilities because we'll be spending a little more time in each posture so you're able to focus on the quality of the pose and the application and alignment and how it feels in your individual body. We'll be spending a little more time in each posture as opposed to linking breath to movement like you would typically see in a vinyasa yoga class. Today I won't be using any props, but feel free to grab anything you need for your personal practice. And when you're ready, I'll meet you on the mat. All right, we are going to start at the top of our mat in mountain pose or Tadasana. So go ahead and come to the top of your space and check out your feet. Make sure your feet are directly underneath the hips and you can wiggle the toes and just create some awareness and attention to your feet. Feeling the tripod of the feet, so the center of each heel, the big toe mound and the outer edge. And as you grip the mat with your feet, Start to sit up tall, stand up tall, bringing the arms down by your sides. You can gently close the eyes or find a nice soft, steady gaze, but simply stand here paying attention to the sensations in your body and to your breath, starting to connect to your breath with your inhales and your exhales. Allowing the shoulders to relax down the back. And even though we don't want anything forced here, we do want to feel that sense of activation in the legs, in the belly, standing strong and solid in this foundation. From here, start to just energetically reach towards the ground with your fingertips, spreading the fingertips wide, and then ever so gently start to spin your palms facing forward. Taking a breath in, let that energy rise into your chest. And as you exhale, sending your breath into your heels, just standing tall, feeling the low belly start to pull in and up. Again, with every inhale, we're finding a lift, some expansion. And with every exhale, we're allowing the body to release and find a little more depth. Focusing on where your breath is. Thinking about moving the breath in a more three-dimensional way, forward and back and side to side, as opposed to just up and down. Feel that gentle sway and inner rhythm of our body calibrating itself, finding balance. Continue to draw the shoulder blades down the back as you engage the legs ever so slightly, feeling some strength and power happening in the legs. Gently open your eyes. From here, start to reach your arms out and up, keeping the gaze forward. Just start to bring the biceps by the ears. From here, start to reach up as you continue to ground down through the center of each heel. Just feeling one long line of energy as you take a scan from the tips of the fingers through the crown of the head, down into the tips of the toes, taking another couple breaths here. Inhale, finding length and expansion. Exhale, relieving tension and just sending your breath to any tight spots. So good, one more time, inhale. And slowly release, exhale. Good, bring the arms back down by your sides. Just pause, notice what you feel. Staying active, aware, and present. From here, start to take your gaze down. We're going to come in to Uttanasana, or forward fold. You can start to bend the knees, especially if you have some tight hamstrings. 
Wherever you are, you want to make sure the feet are about hip width distance apart. Once again, gripping the mat with your toes and finding that tripod in each foot. Let the head start to get nice and heavy as you take the gaze down between the legs, allowing the shoulders to relax. And then from here, start to play around with your weight distribution. So gently shifting the weight into the balls of the feet, noticing what you feel. And then ever so slightly, just shifting the weight back into the heels, noticing those little details. Continue to let the head be heavy as you let the shoulders relax. And if you feel okay, you can start to engage the legs, finding some power through the legs as you start to press the thighs back, pulling the belly in, folding one more inch. Continue to breathe and sending your breath to the backs of the thighs to create more length through the hamstrings, through the glutes. Allowing the breath to move through the body. And just paying attention to the sensations in the legs, the sensations with the breath as you take another deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Breathing into the low back. Let's do that two more times. Continuing to pull the low belly in. And exhale, just noticing the breath and noticing how the legs feel. Take one more breath here. And exhale. Notice what happens if you feel any discomfort Try to send your breath to those spaces of tension. From here, we're going to slowly come up to a standing position, bring yourself back into that Tadasana mountain posture. So arms down by the side and just take a little reset here, rolling the shoulders down the back. Take a breath in and let it go. Beautiful. From here, we're going to come into warrior two on our left side. So go ahead and bring your hands to your hips and you're just going to take that right foot, step back and we'll set up for warrior two. So make those little adjustments on the mat. You want a pretty nice wide stance, lunging deep into that front knee. And then through that back foot, we want to press through the outer edge of the back foot. As we lunge deep into that left knee, start to press the knee towards the outer edge of your foot. Our goal is to get the shoulders stacked over the hips as you bring your arms out to the side, press the palms down. Be mindful of whether you're reaching too far forward or maybe too far back and try to settle right over that center midline. Take a breath in and just let it go. You can check out your feet, make sure your stance feels okay, and then really getting into that front knee to build some strength, to build some heat. Take another breath in. Lunging a little deeper, pull the low ribs in. Allowing the energy to expand through the fingertips. Start to feel the shoulder blades sliding onto the back. Creating some energy by pressing your feet into the ground. Take another breath in, and as you exhale, lunging a little deeper, start to take your gaze over that front hand. One strong line of movement. Continuing to feel that energy and that heat build. Take another breath. And exhale. Just notice what you're feeling. Pay attention. Stay present. Take one more breath here. And exhale. Beautiful. Bringing your hands back to your hips. Go ahead and pivot on that back foot, stepping back to the top of your space, and we'll just simply switch sides. Stepping back with that left foot, we'll come into warrior two on the right. So again, move your feet as needed, setting up the legs first, pressing through the outer edge of that back foot and really lunging into that front foot. Again, we want to track the knee over that pinky edge of the foot. From here, if you feel okay, start to square off your shoulders and bring the arms out to your sides. As if you are pressing your hands down on something solid, just find some strength through the arms as you reach in equal but opposite directions. Take an inhale. 
Exhale, find a little more depth in that front knee. Good, continue to press through that back leg. As you find a little widening through the collarbone, feeling the shoulder blades slide onto the back, start to take your gaze over that front hand, finding a nice, soft, steady gaze. Good, be aware of that back arm, lifting it a little higher than you may think you need to, coming into this nice, strong foundation. Notice if you're holding any tension in places where you don't need to, the face, the jaw. Find a nice, soft, steady breath. Take an inhale. Exhale. Feeling that heat. Beautiful work. Once again, coming back to your breath. Take one more inhale here. Exhale. Beautiful. Bringing your hands back to your hips. Go ahead and pivot forward, coming back to your standing position at the top of your space. Bring the arms back down by your sides and just pause. From here, we're going to come back into our forward fold, planting your hands, and we're going to step back into our downward facing dog. So go ahead and plant your hands about shoulder width distance apart, perhaps a little wider, and your feet want to be about hip width distance apart. You can start with the knees bent, or you can find straight legs. From here, start to relax the head between the arms. Pressing down and forward into each palm. Feel the shoulder blades start to slide down the back, relaxing the back of the neck. Taking a breath in. Feeling light through the heels, just press through the balls of the feet. Pressing more through the index finger and the thumb mound. Pressing down and forward into the mat. See if you can draw your chest and heart space towards the tops of your thighs as you continue to gaze between the feet. Take a breath in. Exhale, find some softness through the face, through the jaw. Once again, noticing what you feel, paying attention to all points of contact on the mat, feeling some strength and heat build through the arms, through the legs, through the core body. Another inhale here. And exhale, try to relax the shoulders as you continue to press down and forward into the hands. Breathe. Feeling light through the heels, and light through the heart space. Taking another breath here, and exhale. Good, taking one more big inhale here. Noticing all the sensations, and exhale. Good, from here, continuing to press down and forward into the palms, start to shift forward, bringing the shoulders over to the wrist. We're gonna bring down to the knees and come all the way down to your belly. Beautiful, from here, you'll make those little adjustments, walking the front of the hips underneath you and bringing the hands right underneath your shoulders. From here, bring your forehead towards the mat and as you inhale, just roll the shoulders down the back. Good, setting up for our cobra pose. Start by pressing through the tops of your feet so much that your kneecaps lift off the ground, creating a nice strong foundation and protecting the low back, keeping the glutes strong. Relaxing the shoulders, start to pull your belly button off the mat. Feeling the heels of the hands press down. On your next inhale, gently peel your chest about two inches off the mat. Just pause here, keeping your gaze down and the back of the neck long. Feeling the shoulder blades slide down the back in an expansion through the chest. Continue to press through the tops of the feet. Feeling that low back activate and turn on. Press into the heels of the hands a little more as you lift up one more inch. Start to take the gaze forward. Just noticing what you feel, those sensations, that strength. Good, from here, gently release, bringing the forehead towards the mat. 
allowing the low back to release. And we'll do that one more time. So spread the fingertips wide. Start to draw the shoulder blades down the back as you inhale, lift the chest. Continuing to press through the tops of the feet. Feel those low back muscles turn on. Use the hands for support. Beautiful. From here, slowly release. Pressing yourself up to a tabletop. Just take a moment to reset. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to come into our first low lunge. So go ahead and step your right foot forward, bringing the foot between the hands. We want to frame the foot with our hands and then gently just walk that knee back. You can keep the toes tucked under or bring the top of the foot flat. We want to find some energy through both legs. So wherever you are, just continue to press into the mat with the feet. Feeling strong in those legs. If you feel okay here, start to take the belly off the thighs as you reach the arms up. Bring the biceps by the ears and reaching up through the fingertips as you sink into that front heel. Pulling the low belly in and keeping your left glute strong. Continue to stay light through the upper body and strong in the legs. Once again, noticing if you're holding tension where you don't need to hold tension. Sending your breath to those spots of discomfort. Good. Taking an inhale here. And letting the hips get nice and heavy as you exhale. Continue to press through the entire front foot and staying strong through that back leg. Good. Let's take two more breaths here. Again, focusing on the quality of your breath as you send your breath and your exhale into your feet, into that foundation. Beautiful work. One more big inhale here. And exhale, bringing the hands down to the mat. We'll just switch sides. So coming back through tabletop, step your left foot forward, coming into low lunge on our left side. Once again, making those little adjustments. And then finding some stillness. Starting with the hands down. Just notice what you feel. And then as you're ready, start to reach those arms up. Once again, staying heavy in that front foot, strong in the leg. Finding that nice, soft, steady gaze. Take an inhale and let it go. Feel your foot pressing down. Energetically drawing that left hip ever so slightly back. Creating this equal and opposite energy through the legs as we reach up through the fingertips, sinking deeper with the hips. Take an inhale. And exhale. Just notice what's happening. Notice the difference between each side. Paying attention to what you're doing, staying present. Take another inhale. Relax the shoulders, relax the face as you exhale. Pause. Beautiful work. Let's take one more breath here. And as you exhale, bringing the hands down to frame the foot and coming back to our tabletop position. From here, we're going to come back to our standing and we'll set up for chair pose. So go ahead and bring the feet back underneath you and we'll just reset here. We're going to start with the hands together at heart. So go ahead and bend your knees, bringing your hands to your hips, sending your hips back. We want to make sure that we can still see our toes. So we really want to shift the weight into the heels. And then from here, bringing your hands to heart. Pressing the palms together, start to sit, sit deeper into that chair. Pulling the low belly in. And then if you feel okay here, start to extend those arms overhead, getting those back muscles involved. Working on lifting through the chest as we sink into those hips, keeping the knees pressing towards the outer edge of your feet. Protecting the knees, protecting the low back. Good. Taking an inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Finding that nice curve through the low back, but staying active in the belly. 
staying where you are, I'm going to face front so that you can see in chair pose. We want the feet to be about hip width distance apart so we create that nice solid foundation. So the knees pressing out as opposed to the feet being together and the knees squeezing together, which is an option. But this allows to create some more strength through the legs and the thighs by keeping the feet apart. So you want to sink deep into that posture, continuing to stare down at your toes so you can see your toes, and then countering that sinking by reaching the arms up. I'm going to face back to the side. If you feel okay there, you can experiment by bringing the feet together and squeezing the knees together. Two different options here. Do what works for you. Explore it. No matter what, we want to protect the knees. So we want to stay strong through the feet, strong through the legs as you continue to sink deeper, reach the arms up. You should feel those lats turn on. Continue to relax through the front of the shoulders, using your back muscles to do the work. Let's take one more breath here. Exhale, go ahead and straighten those legs. Bring your arms down by your sides and take a breath. I'm gonna face you for this next posture. So we're gonna come into tree pose here. So with the feet hip width distance apart, start by shifting the weight into the left foot and you're gonna start by pulling the right knee in. Setting your eyes on something still, start to find your balance and then we're gonna open that knee grabbing onto the ankle. Now you can either place the heel to the inner thigh or we're gonna take it right to the calf. Now, if you have a lot of trouble with balance, you can always just keep the big toe on the ground to start. Wherever you are, we wanna make sure we're avoiding the knee. So going either below or above. Once again, wherever you are, start to find your balance and bring your hands to heart center. Here, we wanna press that standing leg and the opposite foot into one another. Feeling that little wobble, if you teeter or fall, that's okay, but start to come into your breath, setting your eyes on something still and just breathe. Notice what you feel. Allowing that left foot to find its balance. Continue to press foot and thigh into one another as you gently press that right knee towards the backside of your space. Once again, keeping the eyes on something still, take a breath and let it go, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face. Once again, if you teeter or fall, just get back in. Practicing, creating that stillness through the body, bringing your focus and attention to just one spot. Beautiful work. We're going to gently switch sides, so go ahead and release that. Setting up your feet once again, we'll shift the weight into that right foot, pulling that left knee in, and once again, setting up your tree. Again, going below or above the knee, wherever you are, each side will probably feel a little different. Finding your balance, bringing your hands back to heart, and then standing strong in this foundation. So inner thigh and foot press into one another. Belly pulls in as you press the fingertips into one another. Just breathe. Once again, if you fall or teeter, that's okay. Focusing on your breath, focusing on one spot, and bringing your awareness right to this present moment. Let the shoulders relax. Notice if you're holding tension. Staying strong through the legs. Take a breath. And let it go. Continuing to find stillness and balance. Once again, take one more breath. And let it go. Beautiful work. Gently releasing that. And we're going to come back down to the mat. From here, I'm going to continue to face forward and we're going to find a nice wide stance through the legs. 
We want to feel a nice gentle stretch through the inner thighs. And you can bring the hands to rest on the shins. As you sit up tall, draw the shoulders down your back. Good. From here, we're going to start to reach towards the right foot, bringing that left arm up and over to create a little side body stretch through that left side. Focusing on staying heavy through that left hip and breathing into this left rib cage to create that expansion and that depth. Continue to reach through the top fingertips as you crunch and compress through that right side, maybe activating those side rib muscles. Be aware of your neck. Make sure you're extending through the crown of the head as you continue to reach. Stay heavy through the legs. Take an inhale. And exhale. Maybe we start to take the gaze underneath that left arm. If the neck does not allow that, that's okay. Start to take the gaze down. Wherever you are, we just want to stay active, present, and aware of what's happening in the body. Take another inhale. Nice and heavy on the exhale. So good. Beautiful work. Let's switch sides. Slowly coming back to center, taking that left hand to the left shin for leverage. And then as you're ready, reaching that right arm up and over. Once again, staying heavy through the hips, keeping the feet active by flexing those toes. And then energetically, we just want to spin those toes ever so slightly away from us creating a slight external rotation through the hips. Continuing to reach through that right arm as you expand through the right rib cage. Start to gaze underneath that right arm, if the neck allows it. Just notice what you feel. Feeling that extension all the way through the hip, out through those right fingertips. Keeping the legs active and strong. Take another inhale. And exhale, just holding this stretch. Continuing to breathe. Once again, paying attention, staying present. One more inhale. Sink a little deeper on that exhale. Beautiful, nice and slow. We'll come back to center. And from here, we're going to come into a seated twist. So go ahead and cross the legs. And if it's more comfortable, more comfortable to be on your knees, that's okay. Wherever you are, bringing the hands to the knees, just sit up tall, roll the shoulders down your back and just reset. We'll start by twisting over to our right side. So bringing that left hand to the top of the right knee, using the right hand as a little bit of a kickstand to really encourage this twist, start to move through the rib cage. Every inhale, we find, want to find a little length, and every exhale, we want to work on twisting deeper. Maybe we take the gaze towards the back of our space. Once again, we're using the hands for leverage to create some depth through the twist, staying heavy through the hips. And then notice what happens if you lean ever so slightly forward by pressing into your back fingertips and maybe leaning away from that right knee ever so slightly, just noticing the little differences those changes make. Continue to breathe fully through the nose, finding that length in every exhale, seeing if you can twist just a little deeper, being mindful of your body. Beautiful. Let's take one more breath here. And let it go. Good, we inhale to unwind, and we'll just simply switch sides, taking that hand to the knee and taking that left hand behind you. Once again, as a little kickstand, relax the shoulders and feel the twist happening through the mid-body. Take an inhale, find some length, sit up tall through the crown of the head. Exhale, start to take the gaze back over that left shoulder. And then experiment, start to explore a little bit by pressing into those back fingertips, using the hand on the knee to encourage some depth through the twist, keeping the face soft, keeping the breath fluid. Inhale and exhale. 
then noticing where your breath is. Let's take one more inhale here and hold that exhale. Beautiful. On your next inhale, slowly unwind. And from here, we're going to move into pigeon pose. So facing the top of your space, we're going to start on the right side. So bringing your right knee up to the top of the mat, and then we're going to gently start to take that left leg behind us. Here we are. Bringing the hands in front of you so that you're able to use them for support and framing that front leg. We want to work to get to the top of that back foot. And if the hips are a little off the ground, that's okay. From here, really flex your front foot, those right toes, and pressing the knee into the ground. Find some length through the upper body as you inhale. And as you exhale, we're just going to start to shift forward over that front leg. Maybe you come down just to the palms, or maybe you can come all the way down to the forearms. Wherever you are, find this space. Feeling a nice deep stretch through the outer right hip continuing to press through the knee and the foot. Good, so just allowing the hips to be heavy with every exhale. Pressing through the top of that back foot in order to keep this strong foundation. On your next inhale, just lift the chest ever so slightly and as you exhale, see if you can find some depth. Once again, keeping the gaze down and working on slowing the breath just to bring your awareness to what's happening in the body. Concentrate on that area. Take another inhale here. And again, just feel some release through that exhale into the hips, into the glutes. Noticing the sensations and sending your breath to any tension. Let's take one more big breath here and slowly exhale. Beautiful work. On your next inhale, go ahead and press yourself back up and we're just going to switch sides. So shifting the hips all the way to the right, bringing our left leg forward and we're going to swing this right leg behind us. So again, we're bending the knee, and the shin might not be parallel with the top of the mat. That's okay. When we have tight hips, we're going to pull that heel in a little bit closer to the opposite hip. And again, adjust it so it feels okay in your body. We don't want any pain. Pressing through the top of that back foot. Once again, using the hands for support. Inhale, sit up, expanding through the chest. And as you exhale, let the hips get nice and heavy. Start to feel that stretch through the outer hip. Once again, flexing the toes, staying strong through that front leg. And if you feel okay, start to come down to the forearms. Once again, keeping the gaze soft, the breath fluid, staying present, staying in the body. Take an inhale and just send your breath into the hips as you continue to sink deeper into this pose. Just noticing the details, noticing the sensations in your body when we find stillness and some static energy throughout these postures. Take another inhale. Exhale, just continue to sink into the hips. Once again, just keeping the gaze soft, relaxing through the upper body. Continue to press through the top of that back foot as we find the balance between strength and softness. Good. Continuing to keep those deep inhales and even deeper exhales. Let's take two more full deep breaths here. Once again, just noticing the difference between each side. Noticing the difference in your body so far. Have we created any space with the breath? Beautiful work. One more big breath. 
and exhale, let it go. As you're ready, take your time, slowly start to come up, and we're gonna bring both legs out in front of us as we make our way on to our back. Creating this final Shavasana resting pose, we set it up the way we would any other posture. So start by extending both legs, allowing the feet to fall open and make those little adjustments on the mat so that you can truly find stillness without needing to fidget or shift. Bring the palms to the sky as you gently walk the shoulder blades underneath you, allowing the heart space to lift ever so slightly, creating some expansion and opening. And then start to give your weight to the mat. And starting from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes, finding softness with every exhale. Allowing yourself to sink into your physical body, into your mat, completely giving all of your weight to the ground. Let the feet fall open. Notice if you're still holding tension in the face, the jaw, behind the ears, or the eyes. And with every exhale, relax, soften, get heavy. Noticing the noises, sensations, or smells around you. With every breath, notice what's happening within the body. Notice where you can soften. Notice the differences in the body and the breath as you lay in stillness. If you feel the urge to fidget or move, I invite and encourage you to stay with the breath. Just focusing on the rise and fall of the belly. As we spend these final moments resetting and exploring the body. See if you can deepen your breath a little more through the rib cage, coming back to that three-dimensional movement, forward and back, side to side, utilizing the full capacity of your lungs. Once again, softening behind the eyes, the jaw, behind the ears, as you spend just a couple more moments here in stillness. Staying present, staying aware. And then as you're ready, slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes, just bringing a little awareness and attention back to the body, some movement back to the body. Allow yourself to open the eyes, or you're more than welcome to keep the eyes closed. But as you're ready, go ahead and point your toes. Reach your arms overhead. Take a full body stretch here like you just woke up in the morning. Noticing the differences. And then as you're ready, making your way over onto one side and pressing yourself back up to a seat. And whether you're on your knees or with the legs crossed, just bringing the hands to the knees, allowing the shoulders to relax down the back and gently close the eyes once more. And again, just notice the breath. Notice how your body feels and keep this energy with you. It is yours to keep for the rest of your day, the rest of your week, wherever you are. From here, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Just gently bow your chin to your chest, sealing in our practice and honoring yourself for showing up and carving out the space to make it to your mat. 
From here, bringing the thumbs between the eyes to that third eye space, just lifting the gaze ever so slightly, take an inhale. And as you exhale, we'll bow in gratitude to this practice and to all things. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.